Hey guys, how are you? This is Caitlin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to manually sync the audio of your files in Final Cut Pro 10. With this release, Apple promised us that we would be able to select our audio, select our video, right click, and hit synchronize clips, and our audio and video would be synced automatically for us. Unfortunately, I've had really bad experience with this feature. I keep getting an echo type effect, so I've decided to just manually sync my audio myself the way I would have in Final Cut 7. It's actually equally easy and a little more effective. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. What you're going to want to do is drag the audio down here and line it up with your video. So now right before you start recording your video, make sure that you clap as I can do right here. Yeah, so there we go. So the reason you want to do that is because you're going to see that there's a height in the audio waves where I clap and there's one right here as well. What you want to do is line those up. If you put your marker right at the height like I did right here, of the first clap, then it will be much easier to drag your audio recording so that the lines match up more evenly. So once that happens, you're going to want to play it back a couple times. You might get an echo at first, but once you mess around, you'll see that it's in sync and it works perfectly. So then you're going to want to mute the audio on your original file. Just use the audio from your external source, which is obviously going to be much better sound, and then select the two and right click and hit new compound clip. So now the audio from your external source is the default audio of your video. This is how I synchronize the audio in my Google Plus video that I did with Chelsea last week. So like I said, this is just a quick alternative to the synchronized clip feature in Final Cut Pro 10. If it's working for you, then keep going for it. But for me, I'm having some really bad experience with Echo. So I think this is much more effective and like I said, equally easy. So I hope this was helpful to some of you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and I will help you out. If you have any specific tutorials that you would like to see, feel free to leave those in the comments as well. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, guys.